Hey everyone, here we are with another thrift trip video. I'm gonna go into this Goodwill and see what kind of treasure I can find. But I also wanted to give you guys an update on the storage locker. We started listing all the items and uh, sure enough, a couple days after we started listing, we started selling things. I think we're about up about $500 right now. We paid six, around six fifty dollars for the first one. Um, we still have hundreds of boxes to list, so we're doing awesome on that one. And another uh, update, we lost the bid on one of the lockers that was this basically the same locker it had the same stuff in it uh, appliance parts and um, we lost the bid on that one the person didn't come through paying for it so they called us a couple days after and asked us if we wanted the locker for 590 so we got a whole nother locker full of parts we got to get listed but uh, that's going really well and i just wanted to give you guys an update but for now let's go in here and see what we can find do, 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 the busted button. So I was flipping through the new rack they brought out and I found some pretty decent sweaters. All different brands. There's a Woolwich, or a Woolrich sweater, but it's got a hole right there. And there's another one that's got a hole, but I'm gonna pick some of the better ones. They're all vintage, probably 80s or 90s. And Hearst. The colors on these are just crazy. That one. That's probably the highlight. Hopefully that one's good. But I'm gonna pick all of these up. I think they're about eight dollars a piece. But they'll sell. Good find. So you guys know I'm always looking for vintage stuff. I found this crop top shirt. This thing is awesome, man. It's gotta be probably 80s. Single stitched. Junior achievement. Black tie bolathon. That's an awesome shirt in USA. I think it's seven bucks. Even at that price, I'm gonna get it. You just don't find vintage crop tops like this. First one I've ever seen. So, getting that one for sure. That's cool. I would normally probably pass this up, but today it's a dollar. Find it. It's orange tags, so it's a dollar. Made well shirt I'll get it to stay up here it's a pretty nice one let's get that one that's another good find so that was a good trip I'm going to do a uh, trunk reveal show you guys what I got this is the first sweater that I ended up picking up and I think um, Kelly looked this one up while I was in there and it was selling for like 30 bucks I paid 34 for everything here. So that sweater's gonna pay for the rest of everything we found. That was the next one I found. That's a nice one, vintage sweater. And this is a pair of uh, Wrangler uh, Q Baby jeans. If you ever find this brand, Q Baby, Wrangler Q Baby, so. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. And yeah, let's see what else. Got this vintage sweater. Um, I don't have my harness today, so I'm only working with one hand. That's a nice one. And then, I think the highlight of the day. It might not go but for 20 bucks, but this crop top vintage shirt. That was an awesome find. Single stitched. And then, another great find. Anytime you find Madewell for a dollar, it's in good shape. So this one made well. It's a nice one too. But hey, I didn't get a whole lot of footage on that one. So I'm going to jet over to one of the other Goodwills. I may go tomorrow and just add the footage to this. But hey, let's keep going. Follow me to the next Goodwill. So I came over to the new location and I walked in and I found this uh, vintage satin jacket. Probably military from Okinawa. But this thing is banger, man. I'm only paying six bucks for this. That thing is so cool. That's probably, I don't know, probably list that for $50, take no less than $40. And this brand, we always talk about it, is Soft Surroundings. Can't pass this brand up, guys. We talk about it all the time. It sells so well for us. Some people say it's dropped off, but we haven't found that at all. And then probably the highlight of the trip, I just popped in during lunch. A pair of little lemon leggings, paying $5 for little lemons. It's got a little bit of peeling on them, or piling, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's not terrible. And for that price, I'm gonna get them anyway. Somebody will buy those. 
So yeah, we're doing good. Keep going. So I stumbled upon a horde of uh, golf polos. This one's a master's collection. They're all seven bucks. But they're gonna do pretty well. Foot joy. There's two of them there. Here's a Peter Menelar Southern Comfort, Summer Comfort. If you haven't seen that brand, you definitely need to pick uh, pick that one up. And this is Polo Rafflon Golf. This is another one. These are all seven bucks a piece. And I'm thinking I'll probably get around 27. I'll listen for 27, probably take 25 for each one of these. There's about 10 of them in here. There's another. They're all really good prints. Even at $7 a piece, they're going to sell. And they're in like immaculate condition. There's another one. So, it's a good find. And don't forget this. Have you ever seen 511 Tactical? Pants. They're a seller for sure. So pick these up. We're going to keep going. Alright, so a couple more. Ivan Fisher sweater. I'm only paying six bucks for that one. We'll probably list that for 30. And another Eileen Fisher sweater on the same rack. These are all on the new rack. And then <clears throat> a Madewell shirt. And Eileen Fisher is a new tag, by the way, so we're racking them up. I got a full cart. So I wanted to come back to the uh, HQ and show you what I found on the last trip there. I really didn't get a chance to show you guys, but uh, I also wanted to show you what's going on with the uh, storage locker. Um, it's chaos in here right now, absolute chaos. I can't stand it. I'm ready to get some stuff listed. Uh, I mean, I haven't got some stuff listed, but I'm ready to get it all listed and get it more organized. Uh, but let me show you. So this row here, is all stuff that I've listed. And this still has to be listed. And this pile still has to be listed. And we have a whole nether storage locker that had just as many, if not more boxes. This stuff is all stuff that we went through that was not new. Uh, it was open box stuff that we're gonna put out the curb for bulk trash to pick up. but. Oh man, it's going, but it's going slow. All right, enough of that. Let's go over here and I'll show you what I got. We'll finish up this video. So 511 Tactical, it's a great, great brand. Uh, you guys see us pick it up all the time. Um, I paid up for these. I think I paid 10, bu 10 bucks for them. Yeah, 10 bucks. And um, I'll probably list these for, for 35. We'll sell them, you know, around that price. So that's not too bad. They, they sell, they're gonna sell. Sometimes you gotta pay up for them. Unfortunately, they know what they are there. This is Sparrow, this is an Anthropology brand. It's a nice sweater. Anthropology sells really well for us. There, there's so many sub brands of Anthropology, you just gotta get to know them all. But Sparrow is one of those brands. There's a tag. And Eileen Fisher. We kind of stumbled upon Eileen Fisher not too long ago and um, some uh, somebody one of our viewers made a comment that uh, it used to sell better for them. Uh, we've been picking Island Fisher up every time we see it, and I'm I'm telling you, it doesn't last longer than a week. And this one's new with tags, so this one will sell pretty quick. And another Island Fisher sweater. I think this one was uh, wool. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's wool. 100% wool. And this was just a basic Madewell that brand if you guys don't know made well you need to pick that up for sure it's thing it thinks in perfect condition so here's something i want to talk about while we're while we're on it vintage polo ralph lauren polos vintage uh, your standard vintage polo ralph lauren polos don't do very well but anytime there is a horse on the front or anything to do with um yacht club and if it's got a number like it's a jersey it'll probably do pretty well this one was in really good shape although it does say double xl and that does not look like a double xl to me it looks like a medium either it shrunk or people were just skinnier a long time ago that's probably a 1990s 
polo. And probably the highlight of the trip, well, definitely the highlight of the trip. I can't believe I found all these. So this is Peter Millar Summer Comfort. And I've talked about this brand before. Peter Millar does okay, but Peter Millar Summer Comfort, every time we list one of these things, it sells immediately and for full asking price. So anytime you see this brand, just pick it up. It's going to sell. Ralph Lauren Golf Polos. That's another good one. And these foot joys, <laughs> we sold foot joys in the past and we kind of tapered off a little bit in the last, I don't know, six months or so, but it's just because they're not fast movers. But I, you know, I don't mind listing something anymore and it's going to sit for a little while because I know it's going to sell. And the reason that these caught my eye is because they're not just standard color foot joy golf polos. They all have geometric prints or something, um, different about them and i think they're going to sell pretty easily this is another foot joy really nice one another awesome print flower print and i can't remember this one another foot joy this is more of your basic foot joy this one may take a little bit longer to sell but it will sell this one's a little better this is how many polos i got in one place I think there were 10 all together. And I talked about this a little bit on the video. Polo Golf, Polo Ralph Lauren Golf, it, it always sells. And this is a newer, that's the newer polo tag, if you guys don't know it. It's more of a velvet blue tag, where you can see the, the older 90s one is uh, more of a paper tag, big and bulky. Peter Millar, Crown Crafted. This is another Peter Millar sub-brand, uh, the Crown Crafted. When I looked at the comps, it does a lot better uh, than just your regular Peter Millar shirt. So this one's going to do well. And another very good one. So I find when you find Masters, a Masters polo, golf polo, they always do well. But you don't find a whole lot of the newer Masters uh, golf polos. And I did today. So this one will do really well. But anyway, I just wanted to go over all that stuff with you guys and show you what we found. And uh, just wanted to say thanks for the support. And like always, if you keep watching, we'll keep doing the videos. And if you can, the biggest thing you can do to help us out, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't before. Give us a thumbs up or make a comment about the video. Uh, anything you want to comment on, I'll definitely um, answer you back in the, in the comment section of the video. So, uh, But that's going to wrap this one up, guys. We appreciate the support, and we'll see you next time.